Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I wanna to show you how to make a hobo hot water heater. Stay tuned. So the first thing that you're gonna to need to make this hobo hot water heater is you're gonna need a can of some sort. And this is a one gallon metal tin and you can get these, there are all kinds of things come in them, uh, syrup, uh, olive oil comes in tins like this. Of course, there's a lot of cleaning supplies that come in this, and if you do that, uh, you're gonna have to really clean it out and scour it out and make sure it doesn't have any residue left in it. So I would encourage you to go ahead and use a food grade tin when you do this project. Of course, if you're a hobo, you're gonna have to go with whatever tin you can find. So you're just gonna have to scour it out thoroughly with sand and water, and then make sure and burn it well in the fire. And that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna put this in our fire, and we're gonna burn all of this, make sure it's really nice and hot, and get rid of any residue and gases. Of course, always take the lid off, make sure that there isn't anything inside that can expand it and, and make it pop one of the seams. So let's do that right now. All right, so we've got our, our fire going here. And we're just going to kind of knock this apart a little bit and we're just going to put it down here and uh, let it get good and hot and uh, let it do its thing. And when it's all uh, burned off and, and feel like it's cleaned out all the insides, if there's any plastic lining or anything like that, of course I'll flip it over from time to time, but then we'll go ahead and uh, remove it off the fire and scour it clean. And as you can see we've got the tin in the fire, we've got the fire built up around it turning nice and black and we're making sure that the inside is free of any type of residue that might cause us harm including a plastic lining. It has to be thoroughly burnt out. So after you pull it out of the fire and notice that the handle melted off as did the spout but that's okay we can work with that later. But what we want to do is put some sand and gravel and rocks inside, some water, cover it with the hand and then shake it up. And what that's going to do that's going to go ahead and scour out the inside and get rid of all the bits of plastic liner and all that. We don't want any of that in our water. You want to do that a couple of times perhaps, then rinse it out good with clean water from a creek or a stream. We're going to boil the water so it doesn't matter if it's purified or not because we're going to make it that way. After we've got all of this burnt clean and scoured out, and you can see we've got the hole here, if yours has a metal lip like mine, it just came loose, but there is enough of a pressure fit here that you can put that back on. That's important. So we're going to go ahead and press fit that. And uh, that should be pretty firm. It's not soldered on anymore, but it won't come off easy. So that's a good fit. Now, keeping this on top, I'm going to come right up here to the top and we're going to punch a hole. And to do that, we're going to get here into our, our bindle and uh, every Hobo should always carry a pair of pliers. It's a pair of old Ford pliers. And of course a screwdriver of some kind. So we're gonna use that right here in this corner. So if this is the hole, we're gonna go on the very top because we want this up. We don't want it at the bottom like that. We want it up to the top. And then we're going to put a hole right here in this corner opposite at an angle from this other corner. So right here. And we do that by just punching into it like so and you might dent your can a little bit that's okay and there we have a hole now what we're going to do we'll take the handle of our pliers open it up and we can wobble that hole out a little bigger all right just like this and then if you want you can straighten that out a little all right so that looks pretty good you can see hole here then directly at an opposite corner is where we have our hole. The next thing you want to do is you want to find a little funnel. Now, it doesn't have to be an actual metal funnel like this. Uh, this is small enough to carry with you, but you could source any type of metal sheeting and you could form a funnel from it. But this is just going to be convenient and we're going to wedge that down in our hole so we have something that looks like this. Now that we've got the hole in there and our funnel installed, we want to fill this with water so that it's level. So when it's level, it's up to the bottom of this hole here, and we're going to set it in the fire. Now you want to make sure that your fire is not too big. Always keep this hole up, try not to spill it into your fire, and make sure that the nozzle is fairly level and hangs out over the side. 
And this is what it looks like when it's sitting on the fire. As you can see, right here, I've got the spout, not over the flames, but extended out over the side, and it is heating. We just wait for it to start boiling and heat up. When the water has heated up sufficiently, take and put your coffee, you can use instant or ground, however you want to do it, and put it right under the spout, just like that. And if you're using your Stanley two cup cook set, it's a perfect height for this system and uh, puts this spout right underneath where the water is going to come out. Now, we're going to pour some cool water in here. And how this works is something like a hot water tank. The cool water will go in and it'll settle to the bottom because cool water sinks, hot water rises, and it'll push the hot water out this side. Exactly one cup in, one cup out. And you got to keep, of course, keep this full up to this level for it to work properly. And here it goes. I'm going to pour one cup in. And as we pour one cup in, one cup of hot water comes out the other side. And just like that, you can have hot water for your hot coffee or hot chocolate or tea or whatever you wish. Enjoy a nice, good warm drink in the evening as you're settling in for the night. This is also great if you're around a campfire, you want to keep this going all night long if you've got someone staying up all evening. Just keep pouring water in one side and the hot water will come out the other. And once you get back to your camp or wherever you're going to start eating, you can take your insulated cup, and yes, this is the one that I cut into two pieces. I did go ahead and reattach the ring handle to it. So it gives me a nice coffee cup as well as a place to hang it in camp. And when you stack them back together, it does insulate very well. I have tested this out. And then you just pour your coffee right into your insulated cup. And boy, that's nice and black. All right. Now it's time for a nice strong cup of coffee. So the sun's going down. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And it's something you might be able to use at camp. That's some strong coffee. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below. And while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take great survival and bushcraft training classes here at our facility in Southern Ohio. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.